Hi, this is a tutorial of temperature converter developed using Animate CC. So let me show you guys how it works. Reset. Enter whatever Celsius number you intend to convert to Fahrenheit. There we go. And if you can still remember, minus 40 is always minus 40. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you guys straight into anime cc and we put one of these together so let's do that now guys hi this is a temperature converter to be developed in animate cc let's start by clicking on action script 3.0 right click on the stage and let's change the document size to approximately i'm going to make that 1200 by let's go for 600 and click on OK there all right so that you guys can see my my stage properly I've just reduced the size from 100% to 50% and now I've selected text box and inside our very text box I'm going to enter as follows so let's enter temperature converter in there temperature converter and just increase that so that you guys can see it so we can increase the size of that a little bit more okay that's the title now let's get another another layer and in there i'm just gonna say enter number in celsius of 50 and uh, adjust so that you guys can see it enter number in celsius and let's move it, position it properly somewhere. Okay. Now, I don't need a text box. This text box, that's where we enter the numbers in Celsius. Okay. Now, for this very text box, let's have a border around it. And I'm going to change it to input text because I have to enter something into it and let's give it a name let's just give it an instant name of Celsius that's fine Celsius right now the next one is going to be Fahrenheit and let's have another text box here this is going to be a dynamic one so let's change the name of that to Fahrenheit okay so that's fine yeah that's fine and the same thing let's make the result align into the right and align this to the right as well okay now one thing we need we're going to need two buttons one to convert and the other one to clear so this would be to clear or to convert so let's change that let's convert it to button right click on it and convert a symbol so i'm going, I'm going to call that convert click on OK so double click on it and maybe we add some rule of on it in there press F6 over press F6 let's change that to yeah and come in here and get it back to something lighter yeah that's fine and change that to F6 something lighter right black roll over light okay that's fine now come down in here add another layer and this other layer enter a text on it and the text is known as convert so let's change the color of that text to black so we have our button in place and let's change let's get rid of the, of the border of the convert right 
okay so the button is ready so let's go back to the same okay then. oh the the background is white all right let's we might as well just get rid of this or oh, let's go back in there and change it to white okay back in there change the text itself to white so that we can see it okay now we can see that so if i run it let's see how it's going to look like then i will decide on what to do come back okay that's not too bad that's not too bad okay let's copy that very same button right click on it and create a duplicate and this duplicate is going to be reset so we we'll reset the two text box right and let's double click on this and change that to reset right okay that's fine so button reset is there as well but there's something that I need to look, take care of so all of these objects are not in their own area so what we need to do is let's select it all and right click on it let's go straight to distribute two layers there we go you see all of them they now have their own layer so to verify who belongs to where that belongs here that belongs here Fahrenheit over there and we have Celsius there Fahrenheit there convert right there and this one is empty so for this very one I'm going to change that to reset good and for reset let's lock every component up for reset grab the button reset drop it right in there there we go guys now we are ready to start with the programming part of it okay with the code let's click on this very button here so I'm gonna right click on that and let's select you guys cannot see it we need the action and we make sure it's selected go to Windows and click on action and what I want is I'm going to select this code snippet and right in there let's go to the action script part of it select event handler and we want mouse click okay okay I have forgotten to add an instant name I'm going to cancel the whole process and let's go back in here select my button that should have an instant name so I'm gonna call it converter so that will be the name of the the instant name of the button and the second button let me give that an instant name as well the reset button is going to be known as reset right they all have an instant name now okay let's go back right click or go to windows and just select action code snippet action script events the event is mouse click so you see that the error is gone now I'm gonna get rid of this so let's declare a variable the first one is going to be Celsius there Celsius is going to be I'm gonna call the Celsius number the data type will be number right and we also need another one for Fahrenheit so that's going to be Fahrenheit I think it's something like that and this I'm going to just call this one convert right okay now what I'm going to do is whatever is entered in the 
Celsius box. So let's say the variable Celsius equals and let's get the name of this we need and the instant name of this is called what okay it's just called celsius copy that instant name i'm back into my code and this right here okay we're gonna have to try that again let's go back into my action street here right in there that's celsius dot text but the thing is we have to convert it so to convert that what I'm going to do is let's say pass pass integer int there so whatever value we have is passed on here now we want to convert so let's say convert we then need the whole formula convert equals celsius multiply that by 9 divided by 5 plus 32 so that is the formula so whatever we enter in here then convert it send in here okay now we now need to add this straight into my Fahrenheit dot text but we will have to then convert this convert we need to convert it to instead of calling it convert we should have called it Fahrenheit yeah yeah, let's call it Fahrenheit. That's that's much. Yeah, that's much better. So I'm gonna grab that. Just change this one to Fahrenheit. So the result is going to be Fahrenheit dot to string dot to string parentheses there. There. I think I don't need this one anymore. Get rid of it. Change this variable around again. Let's just enter I Fahrenheit, I Fahrenheit in all. And I think that might do it. Let's close that. And let's try it out. Okay, there we go. Let's say my 32 degrees Celsius. There we go. And supposing if it's minus 40, minus 40 is always minus 40 anyway. That is correct. That's very good. So now we need to take care of the reset. With the reset, let's come in here, right click, and select action script. Okay. Event. There. Okay, scroll right down. I'm gonna get rid of this comment. I advise you guys to read the comment though. So the comment is just instruction of what to do and what not to do. Okay. So the, with the reset, I'm just gonna copy all of these, paste equals reset, and I'm gonna repeat the same thing for this very one there okay let's try it out one more time close everything control test scene there we go enter some value in there convert it reset enter another value convert there and that is how you develop your own temperature conversion in animate cc Okay guys, with that I'm going to call it the end of this tutorial. Bye for now guys.